following program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters. Welcome. Today's Beyond the Garden Gate takes us to Londonderry, New Hampshire to visit a garden reminiscent of a Monet painting. Everywhere one looks, soft pastel hues mingle with the more vibrant shades in a living sun splash landscape where color definitely abounds. Water features, relaxing retreat, and whimsical garden accessories add even more interest to this eclectic landscape. Our guest gardener Cheryl shares her green thumb artistry as we take this tour. So please enjoy the beauty of today's visit beyond the garden gate. Good morning, Cheryl. Thank you for inviting us to tour your beautiful garden. This definitely looks like it's a full-time job. So how did you get interested in gardening? When I was a little girl, my grandmother uh, was a gardener and she also had a lot of house plants and she'd give me pieces of her plants and I would um, pot them up in this little shed uh, on our property. and. Um, I just fell in love with uh, growing things. The walkway going up to your front door looks new. We had this um, built last winter as a surprise for our son. He, he was paralyzed in an accident and is in a wheelchair now. And he wasn't able to come to the house because of the stairs. So now we have the ramp, and we call it lovingly, Scott's Landing. And now it's just one more thing for me to decorate. <laughs> <laughs> After closing off those stairs, we needed, uh, I needed a ramp to get down into the front gardens. So my husband made me an, uh, a ramp that um, we call the wheelbarrow ramp. And why do you call it the wheelbarrow ramp? Because there's no other way to get a wheelbarrow down <laughs> in there. Well, that makes perfect sense. <laughs> All of this um, front garden was nothing but sand. And we had truckload after truckload of loam brought in. Wow. And uh, then we put in a lawn. The lawn never grew right, so I decided to take the lawn up and put in a garden. It's beautiful. Thank I, you. I love, and uh, I assume that's why the ramp? <laughs> yes, because the, the, the garden is down below street level, and uh, so we had to have a way to get in and out. Okay. I love the little chair with the... Um, flowers in it? Uh, yes, um, we found that chair on the side of the road and I brought it home and had my husband cut a hole in it so I could put a pot <laughs> in, it. in it. I can see that. And uh, then just last year he built me the birdhouse and we put it down on a post and now have vines growing up that. And how about your little water feature there? Your little water. Oh, that's a bird bath for oh, okay. all our little friends. And what kind of friends do you have? Cardinals, chickadees, titmouse, um, different types of sparrows, and just anything that, uh, you know, uh, wants to come and have a drink. Very nice. I like the daylilies because they last a long time uh, and they go well in the sun. 
I noticed you have a chicken in a bird bath. Now, how did that come about? I got my idea from a magazine. I, I saw this picture and I thought how cute that was. And I do love chickens, so I have a bunch of glass ones around the house. Um, so um, we had stopped at this yard sale and, it, and there was this old bird bath. And uh, so I thought, well, that, I'm gonna try it just like I saw. And uh, so I brought it home and um, put some dirt in it and Henrietta and... Henrietta? Henrietta Chicken. Yeah, oh. that's what we call her. <laughs> and I even had some stones that I'd gotten from the ocean that looked like they were shaped like an egg. So I put those in and then I put in some hens and chicks and uh, they've been growing happily there since. Very nice, very cute idea. Yeah, I thought it was. I get a lot of compliments on it. Every summer, my husband and I, we sit on the porch at nighttime watching the fireflies. And uh, this little jar we saw up in North, North Conway, and uh, it's supposed to be a jar with fireflies in it. So uh, he bought it for me. And what is this red flower? Uh, it's, it's called a corobel. It's not a flower, it's oh. just red leaves. Well, you can tell I'm not a gardener, Kay. <laughs> it's one I'm of, learning. <laughs> it's one of many of uh, the um, corobels I have. There's just hundreds of different varieties. It's beautiful. Are they always red? or? No, no, they come in all different colors. Uh, they're getting more and more of them every year. They're beautiful. They're very, very pretty. I have my mini hosta garden outside the front door because some of the hostas are so small you uh, they get lost in amongst the big ones um, the, the hostas in this garden only grow to be um, four or five inches tall uh, and uh, that's where I put my whiskey barrel with the gnomes and there's a couple of small ones up here too I was curious why there was straw stuffed into the wind chimes hanging by the front door. Cheryl told me, although she wasn't sure what the species was, it was because bees were trying to build their nest in there. This overturned bucket, filled with impatience, was a gift from her daughter-in-law. The back garden, well below the front, is reached by a series of steps. My sister teases me about having all these places to sit. She said that uh, you probably don't even use them, and I say, oh, I do, more and more every day. <laughs> it gets harder to garden, is that what you're yes. saying? <laughs> it, uh, that's what happens when you get older. <laughs> um. Here's a sampling of the many varieties and colors Cheryl has incorporated into her garden.
Spending time with Cheryl and exploring her version of Mother Nature's crayon box was pure enjoyment. And coming full circle, we ended once again at Scott's Landing for a trip beyond the Garden Gate. Join us again. The preceding program was provided by an independent producer solely responsible for its content. The opinions expressed do not necessarily represent the views of this station, its staff, board of directors, or underwriters.